focusing on what you want to get to and what you want to accomplish because jealousy is the thief of joy. All right guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is now my fifth time trying to record this video because the past couple times, the last one I just did, camera cut out, stopped recording, um, like somehow it glitched out, I guess, I don't know. And then the other couple times I had the 360 camera on and then it wasn't wanting to download to my phone and then transfer over. So fifth time's a charm. But anyway, in this video, we're going to be talking about where I've been, what I've been doing, what I plan on doing, because this is a busy, busy year. Um, we got, I got six weddings. One of them's mine and Emily's. Um, we just got new, newly engaged. And then, so including mine, I'm in four others of the, si of the six. So five out of six total weddings this year. It's gonna be crazy, it's hectic. It's a lot, of, it's gonna be a lot of money. Along with that being said, um, we're going to be looking to purchase land and to build rather than buy a home because prices are crazy for that and we just think it'd be, we'd be in a better position later on down the road. So we got the land to buy and then we're going to have to have a construction loan and then the wedding we're going to be paying for and all the other weddings we're a part of. Yeah, it's a, it's a good amount of money and I still plan on going big turbo on the focus i'm sure you guys are tired of hearing that along with getting tired of hearing that i plan on getting another vehicle um as much as i would like to just like go ahead and buy one i'm just trying to find the right time and technically there's never a right a correct time or right time to buy anything like that or anything in general really like what emily was always like i just don't think it's a good time right now i was like yeah i get that but i don't think there's ever a good time where it's like you know what I can buy it at this time I can do this and do that something's always going to come up and be like oh it's a, it's a tough one it's a tight squeeze but with me looking at YouTube as a business and uh, trying to create content for you guys and not bore you with the same videos of POV driving or 360 camera drive I know you guys some of you reach out and say you want to see more of that which I will be getting there but as you can see about the weather I mean it's been it's been terrible. It's been raining. It's been below 10 degrees Fahrenheit. It's snowing. So it's kind of hard to ooh, create driving videos with that. The Focus, I still plan on going big turbo. Uh, I've been in works with Alan at Edge Autosport um, and his team, and we have everything priced out. So that'll be like $3,000, but I don't want to get that project going say I can schedule myself off for three days or four days of work yeah in that time I theoretically should be able to get the turbo swapped and everything like that get the, get the tune all set in stone ready to go however you and I both know things don't always go as planned when you're working on your car something always happens and so I'd rather have another vehicle on the back end just in case something like that would happen and I'm not stressing about getting it done I can get it done properly and take my time on it there's cars that the cars that I'm wanting to look at I'm probably looking at getting if it's still going to be available by the time I'm ready to get it and depending on our situation with land and building a house and everything um, it's going to be already built basically just due to it'll help save money in the long run and why not just get this car that this person has done where it has receipts it's already got a big turbo done um, and all the stock parts come with it like i don't know to me it feels like that's a pretty pretty solid option and it's only a couple thousand dollars more so i feel like that'd be a better deal i think and it's a fun vehicle um, so it's all wheel drive and yeah, that's all I'm going to give you, but I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing me give hints of vehicles because I've been changing. I've been going to be like, oh, I'm going to look at a Mustang. I'm going to look at a Subaru WRX STI. I'm going to look at a Golf R. I mean, I'm always looking for anything that I think would be good for the channel. But speaking about the other vehicles on the channel, I mean, the Bronco we had on the channel. Yeah, we didn't do much with it, but the video didn't do that well. 
maybe I haven't titled all these videos titled wrong, but that didn't do well. My buddy's Pro Charge Camaro didn't do well. My buddy's Mustang GT didn't do well. And then my buddy's uh, Jeep Gladiator that we do a lot of stuff to and have some videos on on the channel, that didn't do well either. Like, it's not performing. And that's where I'm trying to find a vehicle that I feel like you guys would also like, along with other people that would come to the channel, along with keeping the focus, because I don't plan on getting rid of it. It's already paid off and everything. But I wanted to actually help benefit the channel and not just still be in the same projection that we're at now. I'd rather it to be like, like it just takes off and helps us get to that threshold of a thousand subscribers along with hitting the hours watched so that way YouTube can start paying me for their ads and advertising. Because I'm not going to ask you guys to start chipping in, donating money or anything. That's just not how I am or who I am. Now, if I create merch and everything and you guys like the merch, yeah, I'll, maybe I'll try and sell that. But I don't want you guys just to be sending me money, like how people get money sent um, when they do Twitch streams, live streams, stuff like that. I don't know. That's just, it's cool and all, but I don't want to be asking people for money like that. That's where I'm at right now. So if you guys would, please subscribe. It's free. Like, it's free. Comment helps me out. That way I can communicate with you. What car or vehicle do you think I should buy? Um, so that you guys would like to see at least on the channel. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share my previous videos. Reach out to friends, family, and have them subscribe to the channel. Help us out there. Speaking about like all the money and everything because it's what it boils down to is not having the money at the time. Um, and then everyone's like, will comment and be like, oh, well, you should get this car or you should only buy this or and all that. And now I understand it's like some people at the moment or at time in the time or position they're at don't have the money to be doing certain things like purchasing a uh, starter sports car, you could say, or starter enthusiast car like a focus sc that's why they're still trying to like have fun with their malibu or their um toyota camry or toyota corolla i mean nothing wrong with that at all i mean i'm modifying a focus sc and when i tell people that they're like you're working on a focus like yeah I, that's what i had the money for at the time that i can afford so i understand and i get where you guys are coming from that if you're in that kind of a position just keep your head head down, keep focusing on what you want to get to and what you want to accomplish because jealousy is the thief of joy. So once that happens and you start becoming jealous and you start wishing you were like this person or that person or want to get like that, you aren't in the moment of where you're at anymore and you're not going to appreciate what you've accomplished and what you've done. Um, and I, I'm guilty of that. I've had that happen where I see my certain friends and family where it's like or not family but friends and other people that are around my age that I see on either social media or whatever where it's like oh they have this they have two vehicles they have three vehicles they have this they have that they have a business all this stuff a house and I'm just like I, I want that I want to do that but then you become like you could say depressed or upset that in the position you are but then when you really think about it, you're like, well, you know what? I'm doing pretty good. Um, I have a car that's paid off. I'm able to save money. I'm getting married kind of thing. So, like, once you break it down that way, then you're like, okay, you know what? It's not that bad. It's actually re going really well for me. It's just not my time in that situation. Um, so, yeah. And coming back to, like, the whole YouTube thing, trying to make it a business, a lot of people, some people are starting to see it now that I am gain, we're gaining subscribers slowly but surely, but other people, like, they, they understand it, but they're like, that's not going to happen for you, and it's just like, I want to prove them wrong, because, I mean, how, like, you always want to be proving people wrong, you always want to be like, I can do it, and then when people tell you no, you just want to be like, oh, that gives you more of a passion and fire to complete, or go after that dream that you have, and that's what I want is create a business with YouTube um, and build cars and create content and a business that everyone can be a part of as a kind of like a knit family 
group kind of thing. Um, so, yep. That being said, I just got home from the gym. Appreciate you all, and I'll see you hopefully in the next one. Leave those comments down below. No, we'll wait. We'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait. Oh, we'll wait, oh, we'll wait, oh, we'll wait. Oh, we'll wait. Oh, we'll wait.